All right, trying to take the vitamins, but the boss is here again. I'm always running late on this. Who's this one? This is Mr. Beckham. Mr. Beckham, right? Flowers, huh? Oh, you're giving the lovely ladies flowers? Flower. I'll take it. Flower. Dirty tissues? Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Wow, it was a dirty tissue. Flower. How was school? Flower. Flower. Remember, these are flowers over here. Remember flowers? These are flowers. Look, flowers. flowers. Don't try to suck for me again with the stop sign. You're not going to win. <laughs> I put three outfits out for you. Look, you have Christmas or the green from Turquoise or, uh, yeah, you do you. Here, take my vitamins. Make sure when you're doing potty, you're not peeing all over the seat. I left the seat up for you and everything. Did you make it in the seat this day? Good job. And then you flush it and you put the lid down. There you go. All right, you have a choice what outfit. You see, he's already got the green. Through the gear. All right, you want me to help? There you go. I see you got colors on your hands. You, you were painting and drawing today. Look, you forgot one article of clothing here since you like to do that. Here, put it in the dirty clothes. Dirty clothes. I'll do it for you, only because you did all the other ones. He's been good about it. You got to remember to not take your shirt off and throw it over there. And then they get kicked under their shirts under the couch right now. Probably some of the good ones. We're missing. Rudy's here. Stay in your seat. He always is down. He goes and rocks. Rudy's going to try to swing. It's wet. Come on, Brody boy. It's okay. Here, I got him. Here, come on, homie. Let's go. Down here. You got to go in, though. No swing. It's all wet, okay? Come on. How was school? You have a good day? Brother's in there. <laughs> you got to wait. Maybe under the seat. He, he throws things under the seat a lot. I just had to go under his, there. He had this small trampoline in the room. He, threw all, he throws the water cups under there. Every day, I got to crawl under there and get him. It's my favorite. My back is killing You too. Break. Take care. Right, oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, come on. Uh, 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 it's all wet, it's all wet, it's all wet, it's all wet. The swing's all wet, homie. The swing's all wet. We got plenty of time. It's spring break, man. You might get a day where it's 70 degrees. Okay? You're going to be here for 10 days without school, okay? Starting tomorrow. Say hi, brother. Welcome back to the crib, man. I'm over here rocking. I know, and your bag's very heavy. So you got some cool stuff in there. Hey, hey, hey. Where's all this stuff go? Hey. Redirection. Right there. Take all the stuff and put it there. Thank you. Shoes off. I'm sorry, but it's all wet. It's raining out. It's raining. Can't do it in the rain. Come on. Put all your stuff in here. Shoes off. Shoes, jacket. You know the deal. Come on. Four o'clock on the dot here, basically. Shoes, shoes, they're all wet. Good job. My man, good job. Now you party. You party, man, party. There you go, he's there, there he is. There's Brody Boy. I'm gonna make you some fresh spaghetti. Cause it's all gone. Yeah, you gonna hook Brody up with DJ Brody? Good job, Beckham. Yeah, get DJ Brody over here. Look how kind and considerate you have of a brother here. Yeah, DJ Brody! DJ Brody, still constipated, huh? You look like you're ready to squeeze one out. DJ Brody! DJ Brody! There it is. That's the beat that Brody likes to play. Do, do, do. There he is. Nice transition, homie. How you doing? You got a nice transition, too. All right, let me bust out the air fryer. We can wait to dress you, Brody. We're down to eight diapers here. Because of the hot. I don't know when they're going to go over the next set of diapers. They might wait until. Hopefully, it's tomorrow. Usually, it's like a Friday. The last of the first of the month. I don't know, man. I hope they don't come until next week. Because then we got to buy some diapers, man. It's just one pack. No big deal. Oh, DJ Beckham in the house. DJ Beckham, he going to rock? Oh, here he comes. DJ Brody, DJ Beckham. Oh, we about to get the rocks, huh? You going to rock? As you watch Daddy go, don't do this and don't do that, like running out of the house. Yeah, that's always fun. All right, you do your rock, and I'm gonna get you. You want a chicken sandwich? Chicken sandwich. Chicken patty. 
What's what's your selection of music today? Oh, listen to the day. All right, good job, buddy. High five. Can I get a high five too from you? High five? No, you're not in. There it is. Boom! Boom! There you go. If you were drawing for that color, huh? How you doing, Mickey? Mickey wants a hug. Can you just have a hug? Give him a hug. Give him a hug. He loves you. Mm, your brother loves Mickey, too. What's up, Mickey? Give Mickey noses. Where's he at? Good transition today. No meltdown. I'm close to that one. Hi, Brody. Oh, can I play? Oh, noses. No, he's like, get out of my face. Mickey, you got to go. Goodbye. Right to the couch. Oh, you got your tablet? Okay. All right. This is yes. This is yes. First, we're gonna see how Birdie did today. Looks like you had the fire department around you today. The eight dolls on said this is what they left them. I'll leave you some of these crackers here if you want. If not, your brother will leave them. Oh, sleepy man already, huh? Did you eat these peanut butter crackers? Do you want to eat? Do you eat these? Hey, you eat these? Because usually they're yeah. You must do it. I'm good. Go ahead and eat them, please. Get you those. You can get them by the bundles, man. I mean, no BMs today. Sensory yoga play. Firefighter craft. Dotting craft puzzle. Yeah, blueberries, pasta, fruit snacks, chocolate, and milk. I already hooked you up with some blueberries today, huh? Blueberries, peanut butter, crackers, water. All right. Oh, I see what's in this bag. I saw it already. What's this, Brody? What's this? You had the fire department here. Brody, you were here playing football with the fire department today, my man? Yeah, that's awesome. They throw you a nice pass, or you throw them a nice pass? Very cool, buddy. You want to throw a pass to brother? Give him a nice pass? Or are you going to hold it? It's like a perfect squeezing for him. It's like a sensory ball, but not. It's nice and solid. I bet you it glows in the dark, too, with that white. Throw under this thing. Yeah, we'll check later for that one. I think he's still duty him. What else you got? Oh, we eat the egg. Oh, Brody. Brody Brown, look at that. You drew this. You about to lay an Easter egg, huh? Hey, you did this. Good job, man. Yeah, this is this is beautiful, buddy. That football's nice, though, man. Let's hope you don't bite it and pop it. It's like thick, like the regular, you know, leather ones, but you can really squish it. Yeah, squish it. Let's let it glow later. Oh, he's eating the crackers. Good. You take them apart, you eat it. Those are the messy ones. I love them. They get peanut butter all over the keyboard. Hopefully, he eats it properly a little better here. We'll come back and check on that one. We'll add the fire bags to the other little bags we have over here. Part of the tent stuff. Yeah, we still gotta go through that. We'll go through that today. Too, we have to go through that today. Mr. Beckham, how'd you do? I see you got some Easter basket stuff here, bro. Uh oh. Oh, no, Easter bunny. It looks like a lamb, lamb chop, right? A little fuzzy friend there. Oh, hello. Got some eggs in there, some fruit snacks you can share with your brother. Nice egg. I think that's a squishy ball. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, you got more eggs, man. Oh, boy. We'll let him play with these today. I don't know if we're gonna do anything for Easter. But, uh, what's this one from? This bag belongs to Beckham, the uh, egg borer, egg strominata, square da 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 I can't read right now. Okay, what else you got in here? No empty water bottle, no leaking at all. Did you do some art? Uh, you're going to see it for the first time, just like me. I go, oh, look at Beckham. <laughs> Beckham, this is so cool. You definitely got to hang this up on the fridge, Beck. Hopefully it doesn't get ripped up and thrown over the house. How'd you do today, though? I see another great grade. Is this from today's date? Yeah. I think Beckham will want main lunch. Other days we will do PBJ. You had a great day. If this is a new report, which I think it is, I don't know. I never know, man. Got your lunch thing going there. Oh, look at this guy. Wow, look at him, Beckham. <laughs> so cool art, man. We must have so much fun making these in school with the kids, man. Oh, there's a little cheeky dad, cheeky war, hello! Your dad's so corny, but your dad, because this is your stuff, man. He's never this stuff, isn't gonna last forever, man. The kids always rip it up and wreck it. I put a lot in the attic, but... 
This is so cool. Where we gotta go? We gotta go. You did this? Wow! Look at you, man. Look at you. That's you on there. You wanna hang it up? Tape? You wanna hang it up? That's you, brother. I like it, man. You like a little Easter Bunny dude. That's pretty creative. I like it. It's like a half rabbit, half egg. A horror movie waiting to happen. <laughs> I already did that. That's so cool, buddy. Well done. You want to hang it out here? I'm going to hang it up on the fridge for you, okay? Very cool. You want to hang it up? We'll get tape. Here, let's go hang it up. Yeah, get you some tape. Here, we'll get you some. Hold on, let me get you tape. This is a trick. You take the tape like that, you make it in a, like, a round circle, then you put it on the back. Now, you can just take it and you can stick it. Watch, just stick it anywhere you want to stick it to. Stick, push. Right here, you want it? Right here? Right there, is that where you want it? Right there, there you go. Yeah, buddy, my man, high five, that looks so cool, brother. Well done, you got some more stuff in there, huh? Yeah, look at Beckham looking good over there. Yeah, you wanna go through your Easter basket here, your eggs? Wow, what's in there, what you got in there? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a whistle. Can you make a sound for me? Can make a sound. You gotta make a sound. Come on, blow harder. Blow. <laughs> ah, you didn't do it right. Hey, I'll help you with this. I don't know what this is. If this is like what, like a gel-like thing, you're gonna have to put this away because your brother will eat that. Okay. What else you got in here? What else you got in here? Oh, look at all those eggs, man! Whoa, is that a real egg? <laughs> oh boy, no. No oh, gel-like, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, poor. Br oh, that's a duty face. What's inside this thing? Ew, duties is right. Ew. Do you want to play with this? Go ahead. I don't want to play with this, man. Ew. Oh, there's something inside it. What's in there? A dinosaur? You want to get the dinosaur out? How do we get the dinosaur? Rinse him off and <laughs> savor him and get everything else out of here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, get him out of there. He's being born. It's like Jurassic Park with the egg. All this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just wipe it all over the dish. Why? That's why you kids don't get stuff like this. Because you make it even more of a mess in here. Yeah, have fun cleaning that up. All right, yay! Where's your eggs? Get your eggs. What else you got in here? What other eggs? What else you got? Look, you got more stuff. Oh, what's this? Look, oh, remember this dinosaur guy? We missed him. He fell apart. We broke him a long time ago. Remember him? Wind him up. You got to wind him. Don't put him in the. Don't put him in that stuff, though. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Remember, he was like your favorite toy, both y'all. Look at you. He just want. He wants to squeeze this stuff. That ain't happening. I'm not getting that all over him. It's very sticky. <laughs> oh, another! You got two dinosaurs! Yes! Jonathan gave you that. Oh, they're gonna battle each other. Watch here, I'll help. Watch. Oh, 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 they're fighting. Oh, 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 it's gonna battle. Now oh, this one's gonna battle. Oh, this one's got a different leg already. <laughs> well, he popped good. That's mostly everything now. Well, fruit second, brother, have one too. You have one? Let's not get him in the sink here. This is a bad area to open all this up, Daddy. Okay, you're making a mess here. Son, over here, come here. Come sit down. Here, sit. Do it over here. Birdie, you can have a pack too. Here. Ugh. Five second rule, 10 second rule, I don't know, whatever. Here, we're gonna give brother a pack as well, okay? Here you go, brother. Birdie gets a pack, you get a pack, that sounds fair, right? Happy early Easter from the school and all your friends. Here, I'll take the trash. You got one in there? Worried about this slime. I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna play with it outside, not in here. Not in here, you got lollipop too. We gotta check you. So you always fight. You made this too though? This is so cool, Beck. These are cool, look at this, man. This is you, you did this. It looks like you. It looks like just like you. You did Easter Bunny? Easter Bunny, tape. Yeah, tape, I'll hang it up, okay. All right, all right, hold on. Let me, uh, this one too, Buck. Let me make Chicky. Chicky, you want to hang this one too? Want me to hang it? We'll get tape for these two, okay. Remember, you tapes like that? Okay, now go stick them where you want to stick them. Where you want to put them? You're going to put them right here, too? Oh, another one right there. I hope your brother leaves this alone, but I have a bad feeling he's not going to. Want one more? Want to hang this one, too, the chicky? Want hang the chicky up so that you can pop them out? Here, here, hang the chicky up. Where's, where's the chicken? Go? Where's the chicky going to go? Right there? Oh, yeah, Beckham, that looks cool. Well done, Beckham. Yeah, my man. All right, what else you got in here? What are these things? A little building block thing. Is this just go like that? I don't know. 
I don't know, man, what that is. I, I don't know. What about this one? Hey, what about your fuzzy friend here? What, what the fuzzy friend? No, 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 no. Brody likes fuzzy things. <gasps> oh, look how soft it is. Yeah, nice and soft, huh? You have it. It's yours. Your brother don't want it. He don't want to play with the soft toys. Yo, don't bite that, man. It's hurting my teeth. Just listen to it. Ugh. Oh, don't bite it. Ah. This is cute, though. Just stick it there. Make a big mess for me. Thank you. Hey, why don't we just go like this and roll it all up in there? <laughs> all right, we're putting this away. Oh, the ants are getting stuck in it already. They're like, oh, this is an ant trap. That's what that is. Boop, boop. Yeah, I would give this to you, but I feel like you're going to eat it. If you play with it, sure. It's not as sticky now because I'm touching it. You want to touch it here? Sensory out the butt here. But, you know, you, you can, yeah, so you rip it up and you start doing crazy stuff with it. He's telling you you can't have it. I'm not going to argue with Beckham. <laughs> All right, here, let me see. Here, I'll put it away for later. All right, this is going to be a dirty mess in a moment here. Here, we'll save it for later, okay? We have another box we got to open, okay? Yeah, it's sticky. I'll put it back in the egg. I'll put this in here. We'll put all the eggs away. And we can even do our own little Easter egg hunt with them. Just a couple of eggs. Yeah. Beckham did this at school as we were drawing. Yeah, I like it, Beck. This is nice, man. Put this on here. Put the toys in there. You guys can play with these throughout the day. Just like a slice of carrot cake or something. Pretend. Pretend. Put these guys in here too. Let your kids just do your thing in a little bit here. I need you to hang Brody's art up. Hang Brody's art up. We're not hanging up this stuff. We need that for your school lunch. To Give me this back. This right here needs to stay in your bag. Shut up. You want to help? Hey, let me hang it up here. There you go. Nice and high for the Brody man. Yeah, back of that looks cool. Fix the chicky here. I don't know. That's going to be hard to stay where it needs to be. Put another piece of tape there. We'll leave the chicky exposed out of the shell here. There you go. Now you got a nice setup here, kids. There you go. It's Easter celebration. Hey, you want this? You guys want to play with this over there on the couch here? Go ahead, go play on it. Go on the couch for Brody. There's nothing in there, buddy, except, well, yeah, we already opened them all. I just shut them all. And you're going to open them all back up and throw them all over. Yeah, they're all empty. All disappointment, huh? They're all empty, buddy. Good. Hey, hey, they're all empty. Look. Everything's empty. You got to put them back in the egg. Here, put the dinosaur back in his egg. Here, look, put him back in there. Want to put him in? Oh, no, not that one, though, except for that one. Here, we'll put that in a special place. There you go. Have fun with that stuff here. I can't give you this. He's just going to scream about it, and you're going to make a big mess on the couch. I can't. Sorry. He's looking for that slide. This one immediately. What are you doing? No, 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 no. We're not hanging all this stuff up, okay? No, we're not doing that again. Because your brother, I still got stuff to clean up from before, and I'm sure this is going to get ripped up as well. No. Thank you. Yeah, like I just dropped this over here to tell. Like, see, there's this stuff, it like wedges into cloth and all that stuff, and it just gets into everything. If you don't know how to properly play with it for the most part, and that's birdies. Mm, yeah, no. Yeah. Now, because I asked you to sit down, you just chewed on that and spit it all over. No, that was no. Now, here we go with the nonsense. You simply put it in the trash. <sighs> yeah, thanks. You spit the pieces. He bit it, spit it all over the floor here, all over the carpet, all over the floor. I can't see that. Great, son. No, come here. Where are you going? Now he's going to go lock himself in the room, kick the door. Oh, you know, I'm so tired of this every day. Went two days without it. Now he's doing it again. But this is, uh, all I did was say this is no and to sit down. Barely raise my voice. And that's what he does. This is not. It's just, it's awful. That, it sticks to everybody's feet. And then we lock ourselves in a bedroom to give ourselves time out. But we don't even kick a door. I never said time out. Never. Here goes the stress. My blood pressure. That spikes me like no other. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you are. I'm sorry too. What was that? Yeah, this is what I'm, you're just, I'm not, this is why I'm not cleaning up. Because it's just getting, every day it just gets worse and worse with the foam and all the other nonsense. I'm not doing it. Wait till it's just to the point where you have to. I hope it sticks to your feet. I hope you enjoy all that sticky stuff on your feet. I know not to walk down here now, bare feet. Uh, I'm not the only one that mom's got to learn to clean. Like, I'm not doing it as, as much as I want, like, as I do. I'm going to have to have that conversation where someone else has to clean here. And you have three or four days left. You gotta clean your home. Sorry, but it's the truth, right? Everybody, stay with me. Clean your house.
Don't leave it for dad to do all the time. But that was no. You don't spit. Like, come here, come here. I want to show you. All you had to do was go to the sink and go, pull and spit the, spit the broken pieces in the sink that you didn't like. Not all over the floor. I mean, step top over the stairs, all over here. Because I'm trying to make you food. There, there's water. You were trying to drink. You want this or no? But see what I'm saying, Beck? When you do that kind of thing, like right now you're sitting there, all that stuff sticking to that blanket. Like, you know what I mean? That really frustrates me. This is no. I'm going to say a thousand times. This is no. All this is no. All this stuff on here, no. No, 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 no. Just no. That is fine. I'm just trying to make a point here. I'm not the only one here making messes. It's our sons. Our sons. So I shouldn't have to always clean up after our sons. Someone else should clean up here. Right? You agree, don't you, Brody boy? I know she does too. She just lets me keep doing it though. Because okay. I can only take so much of a mess. And I go, oh, I got to clean. I just haven't been doing it. I'm tired of doing it, man. I don't mind once a month or two a month. But when you kids make messes like this, man, it's not cool. That sticky stuff, like, thank God I got the boots on. Look, there's a messed up piece on my foot. Turns into that. And then I drag it in that bedroom. And it gets even more gross. And then you roll your face on the ground. And you get even sicker sometimes. Thank you for doing that. I didn't even ask him to do this. He put all the eggs together and he gave it to me. All right, we'll save these for another time. These are right here. Ba-boom. Oh, yeah, we still got to open that. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. I got to make them food first, too. <sighs> Daddy is roasting now. Overheating. Again, this is now... Hey, Brody. Hey. Hey, where did these go, son? Where did these go? Yeah, you know. Where did they go? Are you going under the blanket with Brody to stay warm? Because I opened the windows. <laughs> Brody's like, man, you are invading my personal space like no other. Yeah, I need some air in here, guys. Uh, stuffy. Oh, look how handsome you are. Yeah, you handsome dudes, man. I know, Brody. Brody wants to be left, Brody wants to be left alone, back. Close the windows in a minute. <clears throat> it's not even that cold. It's just, you know, he's in this little outfit here. Your food's cooking. Chicken patties, chicken sandwich, spaghetti. I, I, threw, I found some uh, a bag of Ziploc bag of baked turtles and cheese crackers. I just threw on one of your trays in there. I'm pretty sure. All right. All right. Let me go back to cooking. All right. Let's take your vitamins, kids. Still got to find that other elderberry. I think Brody's been eating them, though. And these. I mean, he. It's all good with the pre and probiotics. As long as he's pooping, but I still want to get them. I like glanced on it last night. Uh, they weren't available. It's like, you know. Then, and then, you know, then check the next day they're there. So uh, I'll try again tonight here. <clears> there <throat> you go, my man. Take your vitamins here. Yeah, you happy, though. He's good. You got good color in your face. He's, you know, struggling at the duties as you see this face when he goes. <coughs> they delicious. Yeah, we got to get a sandwich in here, man. Very high to eat. Beside the candy or the fruit snacks when you walk in the door, so. Look at you. You're taking all your brother's stuff. Oh, man. I was just like, what you take it from me is I make another poopy face. He's not gonna eat them anyway. He would eat the turtles, maybe. But yeah, somebody's hungry. I'm just trying to flip these over here. Come on, Brody boy, fresh pasta, fresh pasta. Come on, fresh pasta. Get it while it's hot. Come on, Brody, fresh pasta. Let's go. Get it while it's hot. Here he comes. Get it while it's hot, son. Come on, baby boy. Where you going? Where you forgetting? Where you going? Come on, Brody. Come get it nice and hot. Fresh pasta. Come on. Come on, nice and hot. Come on, baby boy. Come on. I'll get your DJ equipment because I know that's what you want. I'll get your DJ equipment there. You got to have two blankets, huh? They both smell like pee. I still need that laundry detergent. Mom makes an order for the little guy. Here you go. Here you, here you go. Here. There you go. Hot spaghetti right here. Take it fresh from there. Here. You can have a fork and eat with a fork. Oh, you're getting fancy. You want the crackers and all that stuff? I mean, one day you want them, then you next you don't. I don't know. The kid, you're picky. You're both picky. There you go. Nice and hot. You decide. How you doing? I gotta count those carbs too. On top of your chicken sandwiches. I'm gonna put some on your tray here. He's grabbing them here. It is hot, my man. Nice and hot. Now we get you back to the whole wheat stuff. You won't touch it, but we're gonna try again eventually here. While we're okay, here, slow down. We're gonna open this up. We did it already here.
I guess they're sending it. It's probably in a separate package, my man, because that's what they do sometimes with Target, so they can set some of it today. What's that? Oh, is that the giant pop it's one? Oh, 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 oh. oh Brit, Brody's going to love this one. So thank you, Thrunic. That was really nice of you, buddy. Thank you. you saw that you like that popping a little one. That's it. No, no, no. Back, back. There's nothing else in there. Beckham, there's nothing else in here, buddy. Huh? Robot. Robot? You can have the robot. He's broken anyway. I don't care what you do with him anyway. He's broken. He broke. He's broken. You don't do anything, but this is cool. That's it. And your brother rips his arms off. So. Popcorn. Popcorn? Huh? Popcorn. What? Well, Toronto popcorn. I don't know what you're saying. Toronto popcorn. It's broken. That's what I mean. It's broken. There's no point in him. It's our... Get it connected. It needs to be. Yo! Don't slam the door like that. It's not, no, it is not funny to keep doing things like that. You got you guys break the doors in this house. There's already your bedroom door is broken. Come sit down. Now you get a package and immediately you go for something else. Don't do that. The way he just slammed that door into this house. I'm so tired of the door slamming. The back of the doors, the front of the doors. Like, no, you should be saying thank you instead of looking for other things. Say thank you through Nick. Thank you. God damn boy. Stressing me out this afternoon. This is for Brody, this is you. Or both you, but I know you, you get tired of stuff like this. Brody loves this stuff. Ugh, scared the crap of When you slam that door like that and just boom behind my back, I'm not a fan, bud. Brody, look how big and beautiful this thing is. This is beautiful, man. Thank you for this so much. This is heavy duty, too. Yeah, let Brody have the, why, why do you have to take, you don't have no interest in this. You'll play with it for 30 seconds and then you'll be done with it. Yeah, I know. We just gotta have everything that comes in through first. Okay, let's give this back to Brody. You have no interest in this whatsoever. You're pretending. Oh, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, there we go. Glad you're eating the spaghetti, too. Hey, let me take the tag here. I'll take this off. Let me take this off here. Brody will love this, too. Look, you push them all in. Look, you push in and watch. Watch when you squeeze. Watch, Brody. Look. Oh, whoa. Perfect toys for him. Thank you so much. This one's really nice. This is really heavy. Like Whatever 3D printer, whatever you used to do, they did it real well. It takes them a long time to poke, poke the holes through. Eventually, they start popping through. It sits in the sun, definitely. All right, your food's done. We're making your chicken patty. I might have made them a little too brown. I hope you, I hope you eat it. <laughs> There's even a game on it here. You want to learn how to play it? You read the directions here. You learn it. Maybe you'll be interested in it more then. I'm gonna eat this chicken patty here, my dude. One chicken patty coming up. Remember, what do we say? When someone does something nice for you. We don't smack our butt. We say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's it. I don't ask for much, do I? <laughs> yeah, you like this as you're pooping and standing up here. Lovely. And you squeeze it, and it goes, watch. It goes, whoop. See? Isn't that cool? <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> he laughs every time he does the spanking. He goes, smacking, smacking chickens and all this other stuff he does. Smack chicken. Smack the chicken sandwich, huh? I'd rather smack the chicken sandwich than your butt. You haven't gotten since the, the knife situation with your brother, which I, I think was very necessary. <clears throat> you like this? This is nice too. I bet it glows in the dark. We'll find out shortly. If you can pop these bags later, add to the trash on the floor. It's trash night tonight. All right, my man eating that chicken sandwich. That's good. We got to give you insulin now, though. That you're uh, starting. That's right. The screen's a little blurry. It's greasy hands cooking. We'll wipe it off. <sighs> All right, let's do this on. Muscles. Come in, muscles. Watch your egg there. Watch your egg fall down. Go ahead, you're eating these sandwiches, though. Instead of just eating bread and butter over there, buddy. 123 Means you can start getting just like a loaf of bread and having like a, you know, a couple bags of those. It's good. good job, buddy. Great boy. I'm going to tell mom to get more insulin. You're getting low here. There were two pens in it, but one had to go to the school. So now with spring break, definitely. She's going to have to go like tomorrow make an order because, I mean, that's not really much left. <laughs> I still gotta fill out the forms to try to get him, you know, Medicaid. 
she never really kept up with it. I get that, you know, working all stuff, I get it. I should be doing that stuff, but they'll give it, they'll give it to him through me because of my uh, income situation. So I need to get on that for him because she's paying out of pocket for that. I felt bad, but she was like, it was her fault. She didn't need to do it. No, just came in the mail. You got to redo it and do it all. I did it all. I set it off over years, a year ago for her, for the boys and her, everybody. Try it with honey. You want to try it with honey? Try honey. I'm telling you right now, you would love this with chicken nuggets, yeah. chicken nuggets with honey, man. Chicken patties. You ate that whole sandwich good. You didn't waste any for that. All right, put dab in there. Go. Eat. Try with the honey. Bite. It's good. See the honey? Tasty, huh? Try it. Got a bite. It'll spike you though. I can't really give you more than this. Just want you to try it. It's good with honey, right? Remember that. This is honey. Mmm. Honey's not bad for you, but like with him and his diabetes, 17 grams of carbs. Mm. You want to try another bite? You can have a little bit more. Honey. honey Barry Bet Benson honey. Here, take it from this end. It's all the sticky. See right there? I don't want to get the sticky on you. That's good stuff, huh? Oh, yeah. Remember that next time we want to get chicken nuggets at McDonald's, you dip it right in the honey, buddy. That's the first time he's let me put something on. The mayonnaise now. He's noticing the mayonnaise on there. See, the sauces make a difference in your food, bud. And they're not plain. Good stuff. He's asking for more, say. This is it, though, after that, okay? That's too much for you. That's a lot of sugar here, son. Natural sugar, I believe, you know. Pretty sure it's not of artificial yields. Good. I'm glad you like it. Get the protein of the chicken. Now I'll try a fish stick. A mayo, mayo ketchup. No good sauce. You, you don't even know? You haven't checked mayonnaise and ketchup. A fish stick. I'm telling you, just like the honey. You can try? Give it a bite. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Well, one step at a time. Okay, more for me. See you later. Oh, pop, pop, pop. Go ahead, pop. You got one. Pop. Two feet. Oh, pop. Can I do one? Can I do one? Look, you got more. Pop, pop, pop. See, this is yes. The banging of the doors is enough. <laughs> Whoa. Get them all. Can I do it with you? Here. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. Now it's easier to throw away for dad. Thank you. I guess we're all done eating now. We still got to change Brody that will wait. I'm going to finish my food, clean up the kitchen. There's two blankets. One for him, one for you. There you go. It smells like pee. Poor buddy boy. He's like, just leave me alone, brother. I know you love me and I love you, but let me rest, please. <laughs> Poor buddy. He's like, get away from me. <laughs> Uh, Brody, we gotta change you though, buddy. Please don't take the clothes off under there somehow. He used to do that to me. He'd go under the blankets and he'd start to dig. He doesn't do it anymore now. He's like, I had enough of you, brother. I had enough of you, brother. You want to get changed now? Brody, do you want to do it now? That's enough. Okay. And that's fine with me because I'm still eating. I, I miss sitting down and eating. I just seem to just stand and eat these days. Let's go, bro. You're going to see somebody dump the water on us. Just wiped it off. Come on. I want to put you in an outfit, bro. Do you want to go take my vitamins? Come on, up. Again, hurting my arm trying to get you up. It's not okay. Okay. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. Get up. I need you over here. Up. Let's go. Come on, up. Please, Brody. I'm not hurting myself to get you over here. I know he's laughing on the fun, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not having fun. This isn't fun for me. Let's go, Brody. Let's go, Brody. Come on, goofball. Yeah, arms up. That's right. Put your arms up. Brody, this hurts my arm, Brody. This hurts me. No, no. Up. Thank you. Yeah, arms up. <clears throat> no. Arms up, yes, arms up. There we go. There you go. Now you're good. Stimming the whole time. I'm like, bro, you got to help me here. He makes it into a game getting his diaper on. He's over here pooping himself, kind of. Uh, and then he's on the potty at the same time. So, 
assuming he just went poop. But he's gonna poop. Double diaper, he's definitely gonna poop. Farted when I was done. Oh my god, don't squirt out. It's trash and recycling like tonight. So we gotta get all this out of this thing. Oh, yuck. Stop, red, red, red. Sing it back up. Surfing in there too. He's like, woo, look at me, yeah, look at me. I'm just coming in here, hanging out with the dinosaurs and stuff. I'm cool, I'm cool like that. I like your uh, building over here though, but the race car boom design. Alright, Daddy's finishing it out. We're gonna do lights out. We do lights out. Race car Yeah, we'll do race car boom. That's right. Come here. You're still not putting the seat up. Put the seat up when you pee. You're peeing all over the seat. I just cleaned it. I don't want to clean pee every week. All over the freaking walls and all over everything else. It splashes everywhere. Put the seat up. Then you go. Put it down. Flush the potty. Blah, blah, blah. You can you can play with that one. But don't don't start hanging up a bunch of pictures all over the place. Come on, back. <clears throat> oh, I know that goes good with that, right? No, no, no. Come on, bro. No, 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 no. No. I'll, I'll get another piece of tape, okay? Back. Hand me that. Leave it up. Yeah, now it's stuck to the floor. Don't don't take it off. Just leave it alone. Again, you're not listening to simple instructions. It frustrates me so much. No. I'll get you another piece of tape. Jesus, man. Yeah, now you can fix whatever fell off and broke over here. This you slamming this door makes this go like get get out. Now. Yeah. No, no, no go. No! No! No go into our room to kick the door. Get down here now. You follow my directions. Stop slamming doors and kicking them and locking ourselves in them. Sorry I raised my voice, but no. I'm not getting through to the child here of, of slamming doors and thinks it's an okay. No, come here. Now come hang it up. You wanted to do this. Here you go. This is what caused all the commotion and made me lose my mind as I'm trying to go to the bathroom and take a shit. Out here. Let's go. Go ahead and act like a baby and throw a temper tantrum. I'm not going to be nice and play it down like you're being a good boy because you're sure as shit not. You're acting up again. You're slamming freaking doors, trying to lock yourself in a room, all because of this. I'm sorry, but I don't want your brother to rip up all the paper and throw it over the house. Go ahead. Sit there and cause a scene. I don't care. Throw more things and break things. You don't listen to directions. Every time you're told no, you act up. And I'm tired of it. You're not. That's not how life goes, bud. You breaking things is not going to work for me in the long run. I already have to fix a door upstairs that you broke your bedroom door over time. You're not going to break doors down here. Knock it off. Put the dinosaur egg on. Oh, because I asked him to do it now, it's like a problem. There you go. Nice. Yeah, well, don't act like that. Don't slam doors because you don't get what you want. I'm so tired of that, man. I'm so tired of the child breaking, like, slamming doors every time. You know, like, all the thing on the back door, but boom! Like, freaking slam it, kick it. And I can't keep my cool one. I, I'm sorry. Today, I'm not. I'm not going to deal with it for the next. Because then we got 10 days here, and I'm not going through this every day again. 
If you want your daddy around for the next 10 days, I suggest you behave for the rest of the day. I have to go take my vitamins. I have to go to the bathroom. Let's just can't look, look, just stop. You're so dramatic, it's ridiculous. Stop. Just stop. There's no reason for all this violent stuff that you do, the aggression. I can't stand it. I can't stand when you start kicking doors, slamming doors, kicking, hitting windows, throwing toys. Like, I'm not a fan, Beck. Can you tell? I'm a very peaceful person until I interact with you sometimes. <sighs> what do you got going on over here? I'm trying to redirect him somewhere. Beck, what's this going on over here? What you got over here? What do we got over here? We got DVDs. DVD. DVD. Eat. And New Jersey. M&M's. Brody. Brody. Yeah, can you help me put some more words on here? Okay, I'm done with you. Goodbye. Enjoy this. This is all, all what caused all this, bud. This looked fine where it was. All because you had to go do that. And insisted on going cabinets and standing on the pantry. And I know I could have handled that a lot better. I escalated that. I'm human. Okay. When that boy takes off and runs and starts kicking that door. Oh, I'm going to raise my boy. He's ready. Oh, time out. Like, no, you're not. Time out isn't, time out isn't locking yourself in a room and kicking a door. Timeout is sitting in the room in timeout, not kicking a door. That's what he's not understanding. That is the most frustrating thing. It, it, it's like like the whole house just boom, boom, boom. It's like, you're told now to not to do something as a kid. I don't care, autistic or not. You're told no, don't do it. Unless it's stimming, which he's not stimming. He's just doing whatever he wants to do. And when he's told not to do it, he immediately acts out. We'll be fine now. But we have our moments here and there. Every family does. Okay, it's real life. If you don't like watching it, do not watch it. Educational documentary. And of course, try to take my vitamins. What do you want? Poop. Make sure you flush the toilet, put the seat down. Do the things you, again, this whole, yo, yo, come here, stop. This, this is no. We open the door lightly. We do not need to slam it against the wall. I know. We're putting holes in the back of all the walls on the doors. It's laughing. Take your vitamins, Dad. <sighs> we'll bring these inside to take them. I hear some kind of commotion going on in there. Just, once you say one thing to him, it just triggers him to like a endless stop of things. What's going on? You good? What's the screaming for? And the kicking at the door again. It's nonsense. Oh, because Brody's up, huh? Yeah, DJ Brody. How you doing? You're being really good. You're sleepy, man, huh? We get it all out of our system now, the kicking and all the stuff, screaming. And I get it. You want to hang things up. And I know it's your brother that rips it all apart. I'm not, because I know he's going to rip all this off. I don't want to pick it up. It's already enough to pick up. The vacuum won't let me suck it up. It just gets clogged. Sweeping up, pain in the butt too. All right, you're being good. All right. I thought I heard beeping in here too. Though. Did you open this? The sound like that. Posh was open. Yeah, it's a DJ stuff, I guess. And Seth, if it's open, you ready to start doing laundry? All right, you can start doing laundry right now. And if you get the laundry detergent again, you can do your own laundry and everything. All right, I'll walk. Oh. Babies out here, snacks over everything. Get your fruit snack packs. Assuming that's what you want. Fruit snack packs. That's about it, buddy. There's not really many options here that you like. Come on, Brody boy. I gotta go potty. What? These? There's nothing else back there, bud. What do you want, Brody? There is nothing there. Okay, this. Grab it yourself, get it. What do you want? There's nothing there, son. Nothing there, buddy. Top ramen noodles, maybe. Yep. There's nothing here, like I said. Brody? Brody boy. All right, come on. Let's go. Get your first snap packs. Let's go. Come on. No? All right, well, then let's go. Come on. There's nothing up here. I'm telling you, there is nothing up there. There's no candy. There's nothing. This is your choice. Root snack packs it is. Here, come on. Let's go. Come on. That's the best I can do for you, son. Come on, get your glasses. <clears throat> He's looking for candy, is what he's looking for. Gushers, man. Gushers, hey, you want them here? Where do you want them? You want them right here? 
gushes. Look at that pile. Is that good enough for you? I don't know what else to give you, buddy. I know you got duties. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go take duties, okay? Come here, Beckham, come here. Come here, flush the potty. Come here, please. Come here, I need you to do something. Come here, please come here. Please come here, okay. You're gonna argue with me about simply flushing the toilet. I left it so you can flush it. No, flush your poop down the toilet. Don't leave it in there. Say it with me, Beckham. Flush the potty. Say it with me, flush the potty. Again, uh, you know, don't flush the potty. Don't ever flush the potty ever again. Don't you dare flush the potty. All right, Monster Stink. Ready for race car boom? My man, you're gonna build, Le well, when we go to build Legos, see, I got the control there. When we get to do the Legos here, we gotta move that over there. You gotta build on top of that. You wanna close the window? Are you cold? Shut the window, what you got? Yeah, close, that, close the window. It's too cold for you. <clears throat> Not for dad, but for you it is. Watch your fingers, son. Yeah, make sure you get all the way. There you go. Good job. Yeah, you should shut the window in the wintertime. All right, let's go. Kitty, wake up. It's time to do the race. Go boom. I'm tired of I haven't seen a glitch like this in a game in a while. My car, I just requested it, and it, it laid in like a cone thing. It's now stuck inside the car, bro. What the hell? Let's go take it for a ride like this. Why not? We hide in the water, Beck. We got to avoid the five stars that we have. So we were doing a lot of race car booms, man. That's all he likes to watch until I do the race. We did a lot of race car boom. You happy now? We're going to lose the stars and we're going to do our race cars that we do. Racing the cars in a circle. Yeah. Dad started racing cars. Beckham has to take it apart and start over and do his own creation here. Make sure you don't uh, make me should be building up on this thing, buddy. Hey, we do you. How's the building going over there, Beckham, my man? You look like you're doing a good job. Daddy, not so much over here. I got like 14th place on that one, man. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Get my butt kicked. I don't, know, I don't know how he does it in the dark. I say put the hall light on. I want this light, you know. So for this, you got a little bit more light coming in from over here. So you can see a little better. Just put the hall light in here. Let me put the hall light on for you, okay? What? What happened? I didn't do anything. Oh, an ant. Oh, you got an ant? Where's an ant? Where's the ant at? That's why I wanted you to build up there, bro. Yeah, the ants. Here, you know where the ants won't bother you? Here, I'm going to show you. Here, I'm going to help you here. Got the ant out of here. Look, and this is a good setup up there. There you go. That way you build up here and the ants won't bother you. That looks cool, man. It really does. He builds it all from scratch. Daddy did a little better on that one. This track's tough, man. It's like a 30-second track, man. Pick bang, bang, boom, boom, boom. Daddy's starting to like the the pickup truck version of these uh, cars a little better because people can't really knock me out because it's heavy in the back. Who beat me? Oh, you got the same jacket I do, though. Wi-Fi tech. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. There's like 30 people in this thing, man. He keeps getting upset because the ants were crawling all over. It was like three of them. I chased them all away. But we're good now. Brody's in there watching Monsters, Inc. Surprise, this is the first time he's asking for potty since we've been in here. It's after 8 o'clock. Potty, come on. If you gotta go potty, let's go. Give me a second to check on your brother here. He's in there laughing, watching Monsters stink. Monsters University! How you doing? You getting sleepy? You look tired, buddy. You having a good night or what? You look comfy. Yeah, you can lay back in the neck because this is under you. All right, I'll leave you be, buddy. I love you. No. Let me turn the light on. You want the light on? I don't know if I should do that, though. Put the night light on. You want night light? How's that? Is that night light better? We'll see if he approves. Make sure you lock the door when you're done, okay? Please. Ooh, I like it. Good job, Beckham. This is nice, Beckham. 
Where did you go, Beck? Why did I hear a door shut? I hope that was Brody doing that. Hey, hey, don't do that. We got first place finally. Finally? What are you doing? Come on, what are you doing? You building? I don't know. I decided to turn it off. You want it back on? Uh, okay, fine. It's not time for bed. You got no school, so. All right, there you go. You happy? Okay, what was that all about? All because I turned the light because Brody was laying down. Yeah, now Brody's not laying down. You missed it. We had a, I had a good race there, man. I just beat this guy. Beat that one. Huh? Yeah, it's cold. The window stays shut, okay? Look, Daddy got first. Yay, we celebrate. We do a celebration dance. Can you show me your dance? Can you do the kitty dance? Do the kitty dance. Remember the kitty dance? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 kitty dance. Yeah, celebrate. We won. Woohoo, ha, ha. Celebrate. Race car. Race car, boom, we won. Look, this is the dance I need you to do. Where's it at? If you show it, they show it, yeah. That's the kitty dance. Do, 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 do. Ha, 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 ha. It's about time we won. They'll be kicking our butt. Oh, I made a lot of enemies in this. <laughs> this guy, Wi Fi. Tech, he, she's won like every race. Finally beat him by like a snidge. He's probably so pissed because <laughs> I rammed him off the road at one point and then he did it to me. <laughs> all right, we're all done in here. I carry this beautiful work of art down for the boy. He went down, he's understanding more. Oh, well, we got a Lucy over here. This one over here. This is not sticking to it, it's just sitting on it. Uh oh. Don't drop it, Dad. Hey, can you help me? Let me lock this. All right, thank you for your help. Drinking to watch out. You're going to hurt yourself swinging that. Okay, walk. One pair. I got this. Here, give me this. Give me this. Oh, my God. I got this. The most important part of our walk down the stairs because we don't want no meltdowns. Back. Oh, my God, kid. <laughs> it's almost a thing wheeze. It's got to be. Halfway full probably weighs like seven pounds right now. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, just leave it there. Thank you. Don't hurt yourself. Here, can you move this stuff? Move, move, move. Andre Arriba. No, move the move, move, Beckham. The tablet. Move the tablet out of the way. Beckham. How am I supposed to put this here if you have all this stuff in the way? My man, move the stuff. Beckham. Yeah, man. Beckham, move. Andre, move this away. Look, see this? Now I can lay it down like a pizza pie. Slide it in there nice and smooth. If we were to put it over top of the wires, it's not going to stay. Understand what I was doing there? There we go. Success. Remember how many meltdowns we had with him bringing that thing down the stairs? Oh, my God. Never again. Daddy won't do it always. I've even had it fall apart on me. It's fancy, man. What's going on with you? Why are you melting up down, down, down here? You hungry? Uh, you still got food over here. You want something to drink? This is still full. Hydration? No, you don't want it? Okay. Just making sure you're tired probably, right? You look tired up there. Let's work on your... You need insulin here. And then I pull up. It's just 8.30 now. So we're going to bring in the yellow bucket. I'm going to put all the stuff in there now. And then we'll do the do your insulin here. Cheese yeah, go ahead. Why not? Trash recycling from wheat. Regardless, you're going to need two shots now. You eat in here. Daddy won't be, he lifted up the seat. Here, let's keep this up here. Let's get nice and fancy up here for you there since you knocked all the pictures down there. Look, it's beautiful. Look at that, man. That's some nice, nice work of art there, Beckham. Hey, Beckham, come here. Look what I did here, Beckham. Come here, look, art. Come here, look, picture. Come here, look what I did. Look what I can do. <laughs> look what I can do. Look on the wall up there. Look at that. Look at that art. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? What do you think of that? Should we hang out in a museum somewhere? Does it look nice up there? You think it's a good, uh, good place for it or what? Right up there, look, it's fancy, huh? You like that? Oh. Yeah, what do you think? Yes, this yes? Yes. All right, let's get the insulin now. What is your approval first? <laughs> this is yes. <laughs> it's a work of art right there, man. Oh, it's gonna kill me for that. <laughs> it's gonna wanna hang it up there all the time now. <laughs> what do you got? Nah, no painting tonight, brother. You got bedtime in like half hour. Right? Okay, I got a lot of stuff to do. We're trying to do insulin, trash, recycling, hanging up toilet bowl on the wall. So I like what you did here. So daddy had to get creative too. You know what I mean? We could hang this toilet bowl right next to you with this up there. You know, whatever you like, sir. All right, sit down. I got to do doctor. Please, please, sir. I'm glad you like these. They're really nice. Again, thank you. This thing's really cool. Whoa, I love the feeling when it pops back out on your hand. It's just like all at once. 
you can get them all. It's kind of hard. Let me see if I can get them all. All right, I can't get those ones to pop going with that as well. But here, now squeeze it. It feels so cool when you squeeze it. Brody, come here, look. When you squeeze it, thank you. Look, see how I put them all in there once? Now squeeze it. <gasps> Whoa, didn't that feel cool on your hand? When you squeeze it, when they all hit your hands at once, it feels so cool. It's like a feeling I never really felt before. It's different. Unfortunately, buddy, we got to do two shots tonight. Let's do that. What happened? What'd you drop? The egg, right? The one egg that egg <clears throat> you decorated in school. I like love this one. I'm going to do this thing. All right, we got to do insulin though, right now. We got two shots, okay? Ready for this one? A double dose. Got to go get your arms. Here we go. Right at the same time. We're just going to go. Ready? I'm kidding, buddy. Man. Can I see your face? That goes in the dark. Here's a Brody's ball. Hey, Brody. Here's your football. All right. Let's do... Oh, this one first too. Ready, hey, brave boy? Come on, brave boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Usually we're going to success small now with this. Easy to get these. I already ate two something. Ready? Do it over here. I'm doing the same one now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got to tell mommy she's got to get more. Pull up. Pull up. Yeah, go finish your food. Finish your food first. Just eat first. Eat, you got your drink, then we'll the movie. Ants movie, if you'd like to, you put it on, please. I would love that. No. No. <laughs> ever, no. Since, ever since I said that ants joke, put on the ants movie, beat or Bugs Life and all that, you keep saying yes. that. Yeah, if you want to, ants, put on the ants movie. You get a pull up. You get a pull up. Everybody's getting a pull up. He's requesting, what is this, blue? Is this a blue? You want the blue, okay. I said an ant crawling on me. No, man. These ants are getting out of control here, man. It must have been on the blue outfit. Yeah, they crawled on me. I had another one on me. What the heck? Where did they? It must have been on the outfit on the on the uh, ground in there. I got them all. Now, please do not. If you gotta go potty, you let me know for poopy, okay? If you do an eye change your pellets in there, you're gonna be wearing. I'm gonna be cleaning that diaper out and wearing because there's five or six left for now. They had these ants, man. I just came off the something. Probably the blue outfit. It had to be. The blue outfit was down here, so I'm assuming they go through thing. You know, they get lost. At least there's not like a village of them, like hundreds. They're just like, there's random lost ones in here. They're just like, oh, where's our where's our crew at? And their, their army at? They're all lost and they don't know where to go. You saving these for later over here, son? Because if you don't want to eat them, I'm going to throw them out. I can't have your brother eating all these. What do you want? You want these here? You got, if you can't just like leave these on the couch for him to eat. Because you know he'll take a handful of those and eat them. You eat them. Let me get this other blanket. You eat them and that's it. Okay. His outfit's still dry. Double diaper. Let's get another water cup here. No welcome. That's mommy's. Here, that's mommy's. That's mommy's. That's mommy's. You had your two packages today. Huh? Open. It's for mommy. This is mommy's. More, more. Oh, what the hell, bro? Oh, back. It's okay. It's okay. But now the ants are going to be swarming. Okay. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. It was an accident. It's okay. Here. Here, I'll clean it up. It's an accident. It's okay. It was an accident. Accidents happen. There's a little bit more. That's all. I only gave you insulin for so much, son. Oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> We're just going to sweep those up and throw them right in the trash. Now, if I would have walked in there, I would be like, oh, what happened? I would assume it was an accident these days. It's okay. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Daddy's going to take care of it, okay? That's the difference. When Daddy keeps his cool and it's an accident, it's when it's purposely done on things. No, that's when Daddy gets mad and angry with you. <laughs> Showing this good example here. I got it. Sit down and eat. It was an accident. Accidents are okay. But we got to get this before the ants come flying out of the, the woodwork. They're all under these boards is what I think. Because they like basically when they pop these, there's like little tunnels under there from what I've seen. Ugh, online, other people are saying too. It's like they just like they create little villages down there. Let me put this down. Well, that was a lot of cheese that's wasted. Can't get the trash can't get any more full. Stop sign is no. Stop sign! I'm trying to take out the trash. Your mom decided to get a door dash. She's this one little man. Kid, I shouldn't have to lock this to walk. Do, 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 do. Fold up the trash, do that, then unlock it again. Lock it, lock it, lock it. You just stay in your seat, son, okay? You hear me? You stay in your seat. You stay in your seat. Does that feel good on your head? <laughs> Does it feel good on your head? 
Brody, you asleep yet? Uh, uh, you know, as I'm pulling it up, I swear there's generic ones at Walmart work better than the actual hefties. Now, stay where you are so I can put, sit down. I need you to sit, sit down or go to the bathroom, whatever, bathroom or sit. Now you're trying to make it so that you can sneak by me. I know. And with the bag ripping, it's even harder to get it out. Let me just take this off. Come back to all this. Let's bring it out here for now. Yeah. Tree, sit, go sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, please. If you're on the way, I'm going to kick your tushy. And I mean it physically. I'm going to kick your butt with my big boot. My big right boot. Excuse me, that's my left one. My big right boot. Right up your blueberry butt. Okay, get down. Before you get hurt. Get down. I gotta shut the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Walk away. That's what dad used to say. Shut the door. Walk away. All right, how's this going here? Good. Takes care of all the things that needed to be done. I'd have one more diaper depending on him. How you doing, buddy? He just stimming with those. That's good. Maybe brother will put on a bug's life. Ants. Inside out. It's up to you. You got time. It's only 9 o'clock and mom got DoorDash so she won't be coming down here. You can stay up till 11 for all I care. I hope you uh, stay up till 10 something so I can, you know, sleep in a little bit. 9 o'clock instead of 7.30, 8 in the morning, 6 o'clock. What if I knock this over here with the dinosaur? What do you do? What's on your nose? Is that a pimple or a booger? Like, what is that thing? I think it's like a pimple. Or he scratched it accidentally. Oh, speaking of scratch. Dad, you gotta cut your nails, man. Inside out, baby Benson. Oh, the feeling of this so good. It feels just cool just rubbing on it. Like, pop a couple. But when you get them all to pop at once on both sides, oh, it's like... You gotta put both hands together, you know what I'm saying? Like a sandwich. Oh, uh, no! No, not me! Not the egg! What if the egg came tumbling? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh! What if the egg came rolling through your village here? Your truck? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Is this a dinosaur egg? Dinosaur egg right there. Yeah, you just laid it. Dinosaur egg, huh? Should have a traditional Easter with dinosaurs and eggs all over the yard. What could we call that celebration? <laughs> Once a year. Jurassic Park Day. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'm going to go uh, brush my teeth, take my vitamins, my usual. What's going on with this? Did the batteries die already? Yeah, okay. Let me switch it with the pink one for now. That's because they had it in their bedroom several nights now. So I went a little quicker. This one's still working here. I'll change the batteries tonight or tomorrow if they both go. There you go. He's not using it right now anyway. There you go, buddy. Oh, that's the bug that flew in. Mom was like, ah! Oh, it's a giant fly. Oh, God. Get out of here, bro. Oh, I gotta take that guy out. He bites. Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Where's he going? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll take him out because Beckham's gonna be freaking out about him. Where's the rolled up newspaper at? What do we got? What do we got to do? What do we got to take him out with? <sighs> Who we use? There you go. Pop it. We'll roll this up and give it a nice little smack like a newspaper when we used to have newspapers. Ah, he disappeared on us. We'll get him later. He ain't gonna make it very long. He'll die in here on his own. The ants on the beat, and I'm carrying them to their village to feed on. Lights out! In case Brody wants to come up here, I'm going to try to shuttle this and set him up here before I do anything. I was like, let me go out there, but let me do some other things. All right, Monsters Inc. again. Unfortunately, because Netflix doesn't really work on this thing, and I got to put more videos in that hard drive. There you go, buddy. Your bed's made. You got your blankie. You're good to go. Oh, you dig it into the big old box over there. Hey, I put Monsters Inc. on for you. It's upstairs. It's upstairs i'm saying for brody it, yeah it's upstairs if he wants to watch it that's like i know you don't want to you want to build keep doing your thing you guys are being good <sighs> since no school for 10 days school nope <laughs> i wish i will see you later fly in the middle of the night i'm sure you're gonna find me and irritate me somehow lovely i'm not gonna mess with that thing right. hopefully the cat eats you the hairless cat one of the cats they love catching flies all right, let's go. We got the moon on. We got everything going here. It's ready. Ready, ready, ready. Never mind. We still got to take you out front. Take your vitamins, Dad. My usual quick check-in right away. Ah, oh, you're being good boys. You're hanging out together like you've been doing all day. All right. 
This is what you want to watch? You don't want to watch a movie with brother? Why not? Why don't you watch Inside Out? Okay, maybe you will, maybe you won't. I hope you do. What, what, what? Before you even sit down, what? Batteries. Batteries, okay. We have the pink one. Where's the pink one? Can you get the pink one? Can I do this tomorrow? Do we really need this right now? You know, Beck? Okay, fine. I'll do it. All right, whatever. Just do it. Okay, I'm coming. I'm going to do it for you. Sure, no problem. I thought you said... I'm doing it. Hey, I got the batteries. Again, overreacting. There's another one right there. Give me the pink one. I'm just going to change them both. Give me the pink. Give me the pink, DJ. Okay. I kind of figured this was going to Look at you, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Is that right? Look at you, so can you do that for me? Need to, here, come here, come here. Yeah, you did do it. Good, good job. As I'm putting old batteries in here, not old batteries, batteries that need to be recharged in here. We just did them both. We've been doing them at the same time. It's, it's, I think they just died. Oh, I should have checked to make sure I did it right first. We did. Okay, that one's done. Let me see it just to make it extra tight. Can I see? Yeah, it's not a decorate. Can I see this? Thank you. Let me make these extra tight here. Hold on, hold on. Here, I made them extra tight here so nothing happens here. This one is for you. This one's, well, you have yours. This is Brody's. Can you give this to Brody? Here, we give that to Brody. Okay. Okay, thank you. Careful, yeah, I'll give you some light. There you go. That way Brody has his and you have yours. There you go. Thank you for doing that with me. Appreciate you. Okay, rock out. DJ Beckham, DJ Brody. Right, it was working, right? Oh, what the hell? The batteries must not be in there properly. Hold on, let me fix, let me fix, let me fix. That's why I waited to make sure. He was putting them in. He put one in backwards. I think. Right, I wasn't paying attention too much here. Right, there we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Way to go, Let's Dad. Pay attention to what you're doing, started. Dad. But he did screw on. That's good that he knows how to do that. I can't have Birdie eating these. Here you go. Who are you? DJ Beckham? DJ Beckham? Yeah. DJ Beckham, here. DJ Beckham Brown, you're ready to go. There you go, buddy. Here. Are you rocking? You, you guys rock together. Uh, you still got that on there, huh? Stop grabbing your, scratching your butthole. All right, you guys are good? All right. Uh, you know, <laughs> I deserve uh, all that for life. All right, we're going to charge this locks back up. It's in here. All right. All right, now I'm going to go sit down. It's 9.37 now, 9.36, okay? I'm going to go charge these and sit down. Now I'm all sweating because I just put my robe on there. <laughs> Again, to teach him, plug this in so they charge, okay? There you go. See the red? When they're not charging, they'll turn green when they are charged. That's it. You can do this all on your own, both of you boys. Hold on, I can't even see what I'm doing here. What do you need? What? Poop. You need to go poop? Do you poop? If you pooped in your diaper, you you're going to be wearing it to bed. I'll just clean it out because we don't have many left. Let's see what you did here. I hope it's not because he didn't say I changed her. So I'm assuming he passed it. That door thing has got to stop. i got to put stoppers behind it. All right, let me, what are you doing? You did, you pooped yourself. Wonderful. Again, it's just, it never stops. All you had to do, look, a pull-up is a, no, no, we're not taking a video. A pull-up is a pull-up. It's just like underwear. You pull it up and you pull it down. I know you understand. It's wasting another diaper, dude. We'll use one of these ones that were left in there. He's going to need those other ones. I hope you have fun pooping yourself. Yeah. How you doing, Brody? You good? Yeah, you're good. This kid's ridiculous. What's this? Are you trying to call me on there? What are you doing, bro? I don't get it. He gets connections on here somehow. <laughs> Again, pebble poops. Stop trying to make phone calls on here. I hope you can't, like, call random people here. Just call me and, and yourself here. Okay. Are you okay? He just fell backwards on the back of his head. You know, man? Come here. He's butt naked. You're okay. You're okay? Come here. Come here. You know, he was, it was loud, but he still landed like a... Like a wrestling pile driver power bomb type thing. Ice, I'll get your ice. Let me throw out your poopy diaper. That's karma for you, bud. Look at that's the world sending you a message. Don't do this. Literally just went butt naked. <laughs> it was only like a foot drop, but it, was, it didn't look nice. He wants ice. Now we're gonna lock everything again. That's what happens when you when you do that's the world sending you a message. Don't miss me. He was laughing, going, oh, poop, and he like skidded his foot back, and then he literally just went off the edge. As I said, I right, go. Potty and I let go of his leg. I guess he was waiting on my balance of holding him and he just went bloop, like fell right back. I don't think you really need ice. What's it gonna do? You don't need ice. You don't need any ice. You're good. You're good. Ice isn't gonna do any difference here. You're all right. Yeah, you hit like right here. 
You're okay. You're a tough boy. I love you. Stop pooping yourself and thinking it's funny because it's not. <sighs> I think the world's sending you a message, son. I don't know what it is. They send me messages every day via your behavior. So sometimes your behavior, it sends it back to you and says, okay, that's enough. Don't do that to dad anymore, okay? Stop crapping yourself on purpose. A pull-up is a pull-up. It's just like underwear. You wear it, you go to the bathroom, and you pull it back up. I'll give you till 10.30 here, okay? I'll be right back. I don't want to give you ice because you're going to make the water go all over the place. Fine. We're in here for ice, not M&Ms. Here, let me see. Where is it? Let me, I'll do it for you. Here. Come here, come here. Let me see your neck. Yeah, and next it's going to be a new outfit. The blue's all wet. Here, I got to do it for you. There you go. Does that feel nice? Here. Please don't soak your outfit because I'm not changing you into a new one. I, that's why I didn't want to give it to him because I know that's what he's going to do. It's something like a scratch off for a minute there. Oh, your eyes bother you. Okay, that's the stress. I know. Whew. Another pebble poop. Almost did not lock this. He would have chowed those M&Ms and then I would have been in deep shit. All right, you're being good. Everything's locked. Now you know my locks with a diabetic. Oh, it's so important, man. Jesus, man. Pooping thing, man. <laughs> it was so funny because he laughed. And then he fell <laughs> backwards. He's fine. He was cracking. He's like, <laughs> poop. And I was like, all right, go potty. And I like, let go of his leg. He's just like, doop, poof. He didn't like hit that hard. You see, he's like a little red mark, but. It's that karma for me with the, the film of my dad. It's karma for you. You're busting my chops. It's like some of the world said you to mess it, son. Stop pooping yourself. It's gross. Please. He'll figure it out eventually. But anytime he gets a diaper, I'm like, how much later do I got to put it on? It's 10 something at night. Like. The last second when he goes up there, I guess I got to start doing it, but he asks for it. I want to wait until he's up in the bedroom, and then he can do it then. <sighs> Waste of a diaper. We got like seven left. Unless they deliver I hope they deliver them tomorrow. 10.53. It's quiet in there. The moan. Just, you know, having my me time. Let's get them to bed. Plus, I need more ice in the uh, early here. They both got to be asleep by now. Hoping they just go up on the run at one point. But they never do. Why would they? They kids. They don't want to go to bed. <laughs> That's why I love this. How are you still awake? Bedtime, come on, let's go, come on, let's go, everybody's going to bed, you take a blanket, you take a blanket, we all get a blanket, let's go, bedtime, come on, yeah, look, he's letting you, no, you can't sleep down, no, mom's here, you can't sleep down here, the cats come down, and I realize if they poop, it's a disaster, just waiting to happen, good night, sir, turn the TV off, everybody's going to bed, I got fog on the lens, hold on, leave it there. There we go. We're ready to rub it off. Oh, yeah. Bedtime. You don't even need your, your melatonin tonight, okay? Upstairs, bed. I'm going to get your water, too, okay? I think we did more than enough time here, okay? Let's him ha let him have this, too. Actually, no, because he might rip that apart in the middle of the night. No, they don't want DJ stuff. Oh, I should give him that, though. It's bedtime. Oh, kitties. Hello, cats. Yeah, fun stuff. All right. Yes, here. This is yours. You get one water bottle, he gets one. This is your bed. Lay in your bed. Here's yours. Here. Okay. Don't hit ourselves in the head. Cat, you know, man. Get out of here, Spoda. Get, get out. Goodbye. Bye, kitties. Yeah, this door is just one big boot ahead before we're going to have that scene from that film. I always forget. I can't think of it now, but where head pops up. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you don't need me to do anything. Just watch this. Monsters University is on. Yeah. No school tomorrow. Get some sleep. Sorry. Third filled up. Hold on. All right. Lay down. Bed. That's it. Bedtime. You got to chill out with kicking the door. Just hold. There's a whole look. It's ready to break through completely, dude. Oh, my God. Hold doors right there. 
<laughs> the whole door is ready to, there's like a hole ready to happen in here. Ugh, we're gonna have to replace it with this one over here. All right, kids, get some sleep. Ah, right, yeah, right, it's time. This door is gonna go up this week at this point. I'm gonna put this, the, the closet door that's here, I'm gonna have to replace it with that. There's, he kicked it so hard today. Woo All right, Mickey, you want it? Nice. Again, this thing is so freaking awesome. Oh, I love this for him. Thank you again. We didn't get to test the football gloves, boo boo. I know. Well, we got everything set up. We good to go. You cats don't need this. Give us an egg. I know. Lights out. Hairless one. Hey, what's up, man? I'm still healing from a scratch on my chest. Thank you. Appreciate you. Dearly. Come here. Chase him, boo boo. Get him out of here. Chase him down the street. Let's normalize walking our cats on leashes. Start walking that cat around the neighborhood. Maybe he'll stop crapping all over the place. All right, we're good. Ice. Keys. To do. Still never did my duty. Tried to. I think this will lift my confidence up for the duties. This is a yes. This is a yeah. It's like uh, when you go on a ship and you got the, the steering wheel. Swing you back up. We'll you. Confidence here. Start hanging a bunch of toiletry up here. <laughs> my squatty potty helps me go. It also helps him wash his hands. He's still too short to wash his hands. That's why I keep it here. Squatty potty. And sit on the potty. <laughs> it always boggles my mind how much money the squatty potty made. I mean, we're talking like hundreds of millions of dollars. It still goes always. And it's just simply a stool. Push your legs up and arch it. Let it release. <laughs> it's unreal. We need to come out with something with Brody where it's like sensory issues when he's going to the bathroom. Because I still can't get him to go on the potty without reaching into the toilet or touching his butt. And the poop's on the wall. Like, Beckham did that because there's no toilet paper. Anyway, I got a door release and I don't think you want to hear that. I'll be back. <laughs> sorry, but not sorry. But again, with Brody, too. Um, I have like irritable bowel syndrome if I don't take pre and probiotics. I think that's what's going on with him. So I just ordered him the pre and probiotics. Or they could be here tomorrow or the next day. He needs to take them. Uh, he seems like the face I just made. Just uh, oh, a good day with you boys. We'll see how the 10, 10 days of uh, 10 days without school. <laughs> 10 days without school. <laughs> But again, we gotta put your minds together. Inventing something that could really benefit uh, anybody in general. I have so many ideas and I forget sometimes. I try to write it down, but I forget. You'll hear me rant tonight. This one's for you, Beckham. Flush. The body. But again, seriously, as I think about it, I try to put myself in this situation, Brody. Because me, he's like, let's reach into the toilet bowl. Play with the water in there, and if it's the toilet's dirty, you gotta keep it clean all the time. As the toilet upstairs is disgusting, just clean this one, which isn't a big deal. But if he poops, pee, it's gross. So I'm thinking, like, you know, like an overhead thing like this hangs over like kids in a baby crib, like you censor your stuff. Because uh, every time I give him something like a tablet or something, he's still, you know, in the past I've had, I've tried, and then Beckham comes in, I gotta lock him in, he kicks the door. I guess it's a unique situation. <laughs> We had it figured out, but I'd have it figured out by now. If it wasn't for Beckham, it'd be figured out. Birdie would be fine, because at school you see they do it with him all day. He's just used to myself allowing him to crap himself in a diaper. So, I have to come up with a solution. And I did already wash my hands, I'm sorry. I flushed my hands towards, I got pants on. So. <laughs> it's like scratching my face and like my butt. But, uh, um, trying to think, man. I know there's a lot of brilliant minds out there. And then some of y'all that watch it's like, there's gotta be a solution to this, man. Because Brody is more than capable to use the, the, the potty. But he needs something sensory so much that he's never gonna dig into that toilet at all. As he's older, I'm sure it might stop. But again, as some of you older autistic adults have told me that once you start this routine, it doesn't stop. It continues and continues. 
and the mothers too. The mother was a mother. <laughs> mother was a mother. He's a mother. Carla, he's a mother. M U D D E mother. He likes to spit a mud. <laughs> I just I I can't get over how easily easy it's become caring for them. If Beckham wasn't a diabetic, uh, just having one kid in diapers went from two to all that poop every day. You know? So that's why I said with Beckham tonight. I'm gonna have to make everything like no. Bring the diaper upstairs. You put it on right when you go to bed. Because this nonsense here. He's not getting it. Pull up is still it's underwear. He's pull it up and down. We will figure it out. And who knows with all this we can invent a product and patent it and make it a thing. And even if we only sold it couple of them a month. I mean, I see people that, that are online. It's crazy how the market is today. Like, uh, uh, selling products and other stuff and all the nonsense. Beauty product. And all it's like, you sell one product just a handful a month. Like, 20, 40, 50 bucks a month. And you invent something with 3D printers or whatever. Uh, this technology gets easily available to you. Like, some of these 3D, print, 3D printers are like 500 bucks that can, they can print up this. Uh, place it is the best and worst invention we've ever had but I know I'm sitting on this toilet and it's loud you probably won't be able to hear me but I really want to solve that for him and myself and anybody that has to care for him in the future because he's got to get rid of it it's like I said with these these groups uh it's real when the parents say they need to break their their kids in their 20s and 30s and they're still in diapers and they need to be changed and I, that's tough on the parent and I can't be doing this in my uh 60s if I make it there, 42. <laughs> Let's put our minds together. Let's work as a team. And I always look at these signs. Everything is awesome. The Lego thing. When you're part of a team, you can figure it out. But yeah, it's like I'm already done here. Okay. <laughs> I got a lot more to say, so we'll come back. I'm having some drinks tonight because 10 days of preparation for this. I had a wrestling too. Uh, I took one spot where I'm going to make some money and a couple edits for promos that I have to work on tomorrow and the next day. Then with the kids here, it's going to be tough. 250 and another 250 as I turn the water off. Uh, 500 bucks again, so I'm going to get it done in a couple of days. But still, I'm still kind of bummed about the demonetization. But it was never really much. It just makes me have to think more. The bigger valuable things financially. Seriously, man. This is this right here. <laughs> it felt like a potty. You wear over your head and your arms can't touch the, the poop. It's like you're like this. <laughs> you can only do since they're in front of you and not under you. Okay. I'll ramble up. Let's <laughs> so shut this down. Awful timing as I bring the kids up by the door to cats. It's like, why are you filming? Who are you filming? Like, like, this is how I uh, cope with things, okay? <laughs> Just like you. I was downstairs with the boys. I was like, it's 11 now. But I was like, I can hear you up there. What's the gossip today? She's like, just be quiet. I was like, yeah, well, what's the gossip? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, well, so and so. I was like, I was just joking. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, what are you talking to in the bathroom? I said, I'm talking to this. I said, I'm trying to come up with a way to keep up with Brody not reaching into his diaper. I'm trying to educate myself and our son and everything. She looks like, hmm. like, yeah, she hates that I film everything. She can't stand it, but you know, I don't care. But I like to capture these good moments. I thought it was funny yesterday with the with Beckham with that, because she asked me to come here. Anytime she says something funny, she wants me to come film it, but. She's like awkward on camera too. She's like, that's okay. But uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be here a lot over these 10 days. <laughs> There's so much wrestling going on. I mean, if I did all the independent contracting that it was asked of me, I'd walk away with like four or five grand over the next week. Easy, like private videos. I, I, There's no way. My creative mind is not there with that stuff anymore because I'm not attending shows anymore. But I've always welcomed the wrestlers. So you have that footage, though. So uh, another videographer can take that and edit. I said, of course. I was like, you take that all you want. I don't even ask for anything. You know, I got nothing but love for you guys. 
So just, <laughs> if you want that footage, just go in there and there's that private playlist I've always sent you all. I just, I can't keep up with the editing thing. I can't have that mindset where I'm gonna edit video while I can for the kids. <sighs> like, working from house, I'll say home house. <laughs> but, uh, you know I got nothing but love for y'all. This Monday is Monday Night Death for H2O. Uh, I do plan on attending that. Cause it's four miles on the road, but then the bulldozer match, three miles, Chris Kerr's something, they have that building over there. It's three miles, four miles away from here. So I've walked over before. There's a show every day, there's multiple shows. There's like 10 shows over the next week, starting Monday. And then uh, with GCW, The Collective, there's like 10, 15 shows. Oh, there's so much shows that I wanna attend, but I'm also thankful that we have IWTV here and uh, through all this stuff, I can watch it all online, which I will probably be doing out here for the most part. I'd be more than happy just to attend Monday Night Death. And maybe just wander out to Philly one night if mom's here. And I can just go one out there Friday or Saturday uh, next week. And I'm pretty sure Brett and all that would still just say, hey, just walk in, do your thing. And most people that run a door know me, like, he just go in. I just want to film, find the scenes, conversate with everybody. I haven't been to a wrestling show since October. Uh, and many are on this channel because of that stuff. And you, you get bummed I don't do it. I, I think I'm more than been satisfied with seeing what other others can do like kicks or wrestling but yeah michael uh it, oh, his channel instagram also killing it with that stuff everybody you no longer need uh, uh tj <laughs> to do that stuff which was nice but i like to just show up and just conversate with y'all share a drink shoot shit it, that's some of my favorite things to see how y'all are doing and i will get there again but uh Let's come up with an invention of the potty, not the squatty potty, which is nice too, but the squatty potty would help Brody a lot. But that boy constantly, he's making faces like, I'm like, yo, bro, you good? <laughs> so, we gotta figure that out, because this doesn't feel good. At least he's pooping for a little bit here and there. I have a feeling in the morning, I told Bob, I was like, I... Uh, with Tiger, works like early, early. I didn't tell me the exact time, so I'm assuming I said I'll get him. Yeah, the goal was died. And we'll just, we'll just have a blast with simple times. Bad daddy. <laughs> Surprisingly, I weighed uh, 245, so I lost five pounds. I don't know how. <laughs> but just a good day with you boys. So I'm going to share yesterday's video edit uh today's video i'm gonna put some food in these flowers yeah i want to see how these these last honestly even though they were a gift from mom's friend to her i told her bring it to your work she put it there so next time her client comes in to see that her friend they smell so good when you first come out here uh, but now unfortunately these these pink roses are breathing in nothing but uh <laughs> Cigals. Cubans, Jerry. Cubans. And, uh, oh, there, I think I had to go to the bathroom again. I'm like you, Beckham. Like, uh, I didn't get it all out, man. No full release here. It's like you go, you squatty, and you stand up again, you walk around, and, talk, and you're like, oh, gotta go again. But just an all out good day with you boys. Uh, every day he impressed me. We got our moments today, but that's life, man. Dad melted down. I could have made the situation a lot better for Beckham. I lost my ish. And I apologize again. It's okay, you're human. As long as you know that you were in the wrong, don't say, yeah, I was right about it. I was wrong. I shouldn't have pushed it. He was just doing, he was stimming by hanging the, the, the trolls thing on the wall. But at the same time, if it's only Beckham, no problem. Again, if it's only Brody with certain things, it's Brody takes them down and rips from the shreds and then the whole thing. Like, I, I got to get a shot back where, like, the tube is like, I will get a shot back. Shot backs are like $30, $40 at Walmart. Like, good one. And just there's just little ridiculous things that you need. These moments that we go through, they're funny. We can all laugh about them later. I mean, any video that pops up, even like a week later, I'm just like I'm laughing about. It. Some of this stuff is so funny, man. It's funny. It's simple, ridiculous things that human beings go through with their kids. You got to find laughter in it all. 
I, at the moment, it sounded like funny because <laughs> it was because I had to poop really bad and I didn't even get to go to the lab because I couldn't go. I was like, oh, then kick the door away, you know. That's your body, your human instincts. But just, uh, proudy boys, I got a lot more in me than I am wide awake. So I'm going to, now I'm going to pour myself another drink. <laughs> Let's just have one. I had a full cigar, I'm going to have another one. And again, you can do that as an adult. Don't. And I know it's always hard work. You can't stand pretty much anything I do. <laughs> We're not together, so that's the best part. It's like if you don't like that person who they are, and you knew who, who I was before you were with with me, then you you shouldn't have gotten with me and been with me and had kids with me. <laughs> but like, it's all good. You just life is a big old uh, nonsense thing. But as long as you continue to focus on the kids, which I am, and she is as well, when it comes to working, she knows she's got to work her butt off. And she gets to have all these vacations and go places. And I've explained to her many times, so she knows. I said, well, if I'm not here, then you can't go on these vacations. <laughs> it's made it very clear. There's not going to be somebody that's going to show up and take care of the kids for five days straight, day and night. Uh, for a decent amount of money. Like with uh, her having to pay out of pocket until we get Beckham back on insurance. As, I did this all before. I'm going to have to do it again. She needs it as well. She's paying out of pocket for her simple things. Allergies or whatever she's got to do. Like, I did it all before. All you had to do was renew the notice when it comes to the mail or email. Never did. So now I got to do it again. So Brody already went through that hassle of him uh, going through SSI disability, he has it all. He's good. He's good for life, for the most part. Unless they, all of a sudden, he's not autistic anymore. Which, I can't even believe is like a thing. Um, which I, I honestly, be thankful it was, but it's not it, currently. He's not going to just wake up and not be autistic anymore. And that's what uh, the guidance concert at school, when I reached out to them, because they need all that report. It was like literally at a day to send it in, but the Social security is, is understanding, but they literally, I've seen some people go through it. They send you a notice and it's like the day before. And it's like, we need this again. It's like, it just sent you all the stuff, dude. And they try to basically try to screw you out of social security, social security disability income for your kid. It's not a lot, but it's enough to get him by. And it's helped myself, their mother, their brother, uh, Beckham, everything. I put nothing but most of it towards them and just myself caring for the kids. I got my basic little things and then it's just it's so crappy dude that they really try to hustle you out because it it's going to run out one day so you got to just keep keep going and going and going now the goal is just to get Beckham an official diagnosis as being autistic and if any person that does this officially and sees this if you can help me somehow you can clearly see individuals that he is autistic the way he stems and sensory stuff, and I know he's got other stuff going on, but he is autistic and he's a diabetic. Now, if he isn't a child that eventually will, will qualify for social security disability income, then I don't know what is. Because I've seen some of my friends with their kids, and their kids are really high functioning and they're fine and they're getting still getting social security disability income. Uh, Beckham cannot barely he can dress himself almost but not always he can't take care of himself like you say he's pooping himself still and then on top of the diabetes he can't deliver insulin to himself so he needs somebody to care for him all the time even if it's temporary until he wears it in place i don't know like i i need this like uh, to, to have the income that we can get more and more things that the kids need i can put money away for them and myself as they're older it just blows my mind still to this day if there that that gentleman was in this, this development and didn't, didn't see enough he just he was having a good day I was like man you don't even know bro <laughs> but uh it should be able to be a system where you take video visuals of your kids and share that with them and say this is what they're going through why do i have to be on every kid each day is different they're not gonna have uh, so they gotta have a bad day for you to diagnose them with autism like and I thought about it when he was doing it. I could have instigated situations where he would have reacted. And I didn't. I just let him do his natural form. I didn't interact. And I regret it now. 
And the only reason why Beckham doesn't have that is because it was during COVID. And, uh, and apparently, too, through some of the social media groups, uh, especially these guys on Reddit, Facebook, I, I glance through it. I don't, I don't really comment much as, unless it's, like, something in my area and I can help, which I can't really help with my voice. But uh, he's going to need it because if, if his mom and dad aren't around one day, like, as he's older and he doesn't have this, he needs that Social Security income. Whether it's as small as it is, it's just for somebody to help care for him. Whether it's a family member, a friend, or him and his brother together one day, which I could see them fully when I'm not around their mom. They could be living on their own together and caring for each other. The way they are, like hugging, loving their, their, their very loving, caring kids. And I know when I raise my voice, I'm tough on them sometimes. I worry about, like, will that make him into a aggressive, violent person? But, but I don't see that happening. It's simply just putting my foot down, like a lot of you mothers say on here, just put your foot down, man. I only do it to the point where it's like, it's enough is enough. If they're endangering themselves, and I, the spanking thing, like, spank chicken. I haven't spanked them since the one time I know some of y'all brought it up. I'm like, man, yeah, he, he grabbed a, a steak knife from under the sink somehow. Because I wasn't quick and I was in the bathroom. And he brought Brody down. The steak knife was sticking up right under his throat. And he was dragging his brother down the stairs. It was like this close to stabbing him. And I was like, separate him i was like and he's still laughing about this is not funny i shut the camera so i smacked his butt I said this is no this is no you do never ever ever grab a steak knife and i remember one time he had the opportunity to do it again mom left it open he looked literally like this is no and i was like you're damn right no don't ever pick up those knives and hand them to your brother or you pick them up it's dangerous this is life or death this is when you have to step up and say that stuff and i feel awful when i do it i hate being that person to to uh, raise my voice or smack his butt. I think it was like two months plus ago. And I barely smacked him. He still laughed at me, but I gave him a little, without the diapers, like a little smack on his touchy, like for the most part. I was like, don't laugh about that. I was like, this is life or death. Dumb ways to die. The animated cartoon that you watched over and over that you found somehow, you can't play around with that stuff. So, be the way. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you got to figure out what works for you and your kids. Everybody's different. The kids are different all that stuff. And I'm getting cold. I got to put my, uh, <laughs> my uh, bitch robe on here. I'm trying my best. And like I said, I like less views on this channel for now until we get a better understanding of who's viewing it. I'm just thankful for all that help out here uh, with the things that they need. Like our, our buddy over here that, that always comments on here, especially he's adult. You see him given when comments are available every like what once a month <laughs> I get lucky um, he knows what he's talking about because he's going through that stuff and maybe one day we'll be able to have people on here and discuss this stuff whether they want to be censored out like I said with their faces whatever just write a transcript I can read what you what you say because you do give me transcripts all the time of, of opinions up and I I read them for the most part I haven't been able to go in there I I don't know you don't expect me to always email you back, but I can go back and easily read them all, but I can't email you back. So I feel awful like opening them up and not uh, emailing you all back. Like I, I can't, I don't have uh, the mentality writing wise. Like I'm not an intelligent human being when it comes to writing. Well, that's my left hand, I'm not, I'm right handed. I can't, I'm not typing in, I, I can't. I am a verbal person. I am not a typewriter, <laughs> but uh don't ever uh, think that I'm, I'm not appreciating all when it took me a whole day to even open that up for them. And they, they didn't put the outfits in there, as you noted on there. I think I even have to go back. Uh, as your name was in there, I have to delete that part out of there. And if I didn't, I apologize. I need to, to cut that out of there. Keep your privacy and stuff. But uh, just, a, just a good day with the boys. Life is chaotic as all hell. They're not only what myself my sons you all go through each day the world goes through and everything else just again just uh thankful for for you all that that really reach out and help what little you can because i will never take money from people unless that point, like i said you've sent i'll never forget that like the 1200 hours some some of you and i immediately sent it back and then kept getting it back and i was like i can't take that now homeless on the streets my kids and stuff they'll never get to that point uh their mother has their mother her mother 
my mother has a mother. <laughs> I have my sister, I have other places as the kids get older and get out of school, there's always gonna be a way for us to figure this out. I'm not concerned with that. As long as you put in the time and the care and the effort and you, you dedicate yourself to your kids, you shouldn't really have a problem. And I know uh, the wrestling friends of mine too, they said, yeah, they, they tell me like, I'm really proud of you, TJ, that you don't just show up at shows all the time. I thought they could bomb. I'm like, I just, I can't, I can't do it anymore, man. It's at that point where they're, they're learning so much from myself doing this daily with them. I can't see myself going and doing that anymore until they get to the point where they're prepared. And that's a different story. And I found my way just playing video games, driving in a circle. I know it's, it's not the exciting thing, but like, and finding myself out here watching the news and now their screens are on since I talk too much. It's simple. 42 years of age. I had my fun. I did my partying. I've had my social life. Ooh, ooh, as I dropped the finals. Social life with plenty of nice women in my life. And I enjoyed every moment of it. They didn't always have to be mine forever, but we had our fun. We did our thing. And we loved each other at the time. Everybody goes through love, love life in and out, man. It's like, all right, man. I still always love her. She's the mother of my kids, but, you know, not saying I would, wouldn't mind to have that, but anymore. But, like, at this point now, I don't want that anymore. Because anymore. I feel like it, it takes away, if it ever was an opportunity, I don't, I don't I have no interest at all. I'd rather have my main focus on my sons as they obviously need it. Uh, fat daddy. <laughs> And we're this close to getting outside for the warmer weather. All that, and we're gonna do it, man. I'm gonna get him another one of those kids' pools, and you know, live the the good simple life, man. Just gotta keep Beckham from running off. I joke around, shot collar, like the the, 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 the dogs, the bulldogs. Man. You can't leave this property area. <laughs> I would never do that to him. But I bet you there was a time when they didn't care about that stuff when their parents would duct tape tape in your mouth. Like I would have conversations about my with my great grandma Betty where she would do that with her kids once in a blue moon. I remember this stuff when I was a kid. I bet you she would have she'd be patting that that shot collar for the children that 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 eloped the house to keep them alive. But uh society's too soft. I'm not saying you you high voltage you just like a light little ooh, tinkle, ooh. tinkle. Because from this thing it does a light tingle when my heart's acting up, but it gives me the real jolt when it's really off. So I'm saying a light tingle, it goes, ooh, you back off from whatever you're doing. Slow down your exercise routine. So it's, it's interesting. I would never do that to my kids, you know that. I like just busting their balls, like they like busting my balls. And I'm gonna put my uh, bath robe on here. I'm gonna go have this doggy, have a sauce. Probably need more lemonade, I'm very low. <laughs> But again, stop judging, start loving. Accept others with ours, be yourself, be ouch. Treat the kids the way you wanted to be treated as a kid. At least the best you can. What are your flowers? All right, I'm gonna put that food in the flowers here. So I'm kind of curious. And uh, just, uh, you know, be humble, kind. We'll be appreciative for what you got. All right, good night. Take care, everybody. And as I take a leave here, Sense everybody. Simply make the toilet seat lid like those little pop things and put it over top of the toilet. Sense everybody. Is that a million dollar idea right here? There's probably a good handful of, of uh, kids everywhere in the world. Throughout the world. Sense everybody. Imagine being able to do a little pop thing and wait for them to access it under there and do it instead of reaching the toilet. Again, which the comments are available. Email me if you think that's a good idea. We can get a 3D printer and print them up. Put them online. Hands up and 50, 40, 20 dollars pop. Makes a million or a million dollar millionaire every night. Sends everybody. Can I just go to the bathroom on problems without you guys tapping on the door too? Really? Really? No. When we make something for you, stop going to the bathroom too. You're not a concern though. Not as much as a, the boy doing his thing. Get you a little sensory body. We're going to normalize catwalking. I'm going to take you for walks and let you poop outside on the lawn. What do you think? No? You don't like it? Okay. See you later. <laughs> All right. Let's share yesterday's video. 
but yeah, as I like start to do this and, and edit to sensory potty, man. It's maybe like a child's potty, but oh, it does all that, man. There's definitely a market for that. I know somebody could steal this around and patent or anything, but if you were kind of human, but you can't trust anybody today, you put it out there, split it 50 50, let's do it. Because I know he needs something to, uh, to occupy his time when he's on there, man. Like, even if the whole potty was made of those little pop things, man, like the out, out layer of it. And now with 3D printers available, there's a possibility with anything, man. I will get my hands on a 3D printer over the next couple of years. But anyway, let me go see what I got to do. Before I show you guys today's video, I want to show you this, and this is what I like. Less views, 100% likes, and you go back to some where it's like, I, but just, just that, like, it's 386 views. We don't need a whole buttload of people watching this stuff, man. I need people that are understanding and communicative, uh, community that is communicating with each other. But there's some that still don't like it and they can hire a view count. But, okay. We're going to go with this one here. The three automatic thumbnails. Again, I wish I had more time to do all that. But again, we post and I put the comments on just to show you. And they will suppress it. I even thought about putting stuff on uh, other sites. But like, we'll, we'll get there. But I, I, don't, I don't know. I like YouTube. I have confidence in YouTube. They're just learning and the handle with the AI and everything coming right. It's going to be hard for them to keep everything in order. I guess I did not order these. So let's order these now. It's not bad price at all. It's like eight twenty six. I could have swore I had the order button on these things, but I guess I did not. Okay, they're placed. They'll be here latest Saturday. He's got to have them every day. Forgot to add this to the playlist here. I'm sorry, here, dude. I'll add you now. Always my interest is like, because YouTube didn't have this before. What is the automatic video play going to be? Oh yeah, it's right where it is. He's just stretching out that stuff that our boy got us for. Yeah, we love it, dude. Do your thing, DJ Bad, DJ Brody. There, I love it. What are you looking at, Beckham? All right, we imported everything. A little bit of editing. I'm gonna add some more to it. I'm gonna speak some more. All right, so just uh, as my thought it process is like thinking like this. I apologize again, sun's on over smoke scars. Just simply the outfit would, would Brody or have to like lock his neck up here and like make a thing. There should be outfits patented like that. I just kind of like glance online. There's some other specific outfits, but there's no real market in here. We're, we're in, in, in a world where there's more autistic uh, children popping up left and right now. And especially since COVID, I don't know what it did. I believe it like uh, spiked up the level of uh, Beckham uh, becoming a diabetic is like some of the doctors were telling me that. So like that's stuff I would never even think about. When I say with my vitamins and all stuff, but like they know this stuff in the medical field. Uh, but Beckham's not the the one to reach in his diaper, but just saying for for younger younger kids in their diapers. I have a musician friend; his son is not autistic, but you know what his kid did? He would take his clothes off and poop himself and throw his diaper off somewhere in the house. So where is that patent for this? Where it's like a, a triple button up thing? There's got to be something out there. I kind of glance into it, but if, if there's no outfits available that are like that. So again, shh, it's a million dollar idea right here. If, if you had communication with others that can figure this all out, there is a market for that. And I'd be like, TJ, why do you just give this information away for free? Because I don't really care about money. I don't. And I would hope that the person that saw this and decided to do that would say, hey, I got my heart and soul just to help us out. But we don't need a lot of money. We just need a little bit here to get by through life. But I mean, if you look at systems of banks and stuff, and I look at the stock market, which drives me nuts. <laughs> it's like SoFi is one of the greatest banking systems in, of all time. And then we have uh, the stock market that like constantly puts like bubbles in place where it's just like it's just like a big stock that rises and pops he said i don't like trump trump as a human being but he knew what's coming with his true social thing it's like another stock a meme stock type thing where it just goes so big and it implodes you you, you you take the profits and you cut it out and i'm guilty in the past of doing that so i mean I mean, there were days where i was making like doing a stock market trade i I eventually lost it all in <laughs> stock market class, but there were days where I made like seven, eight grand in a day. Like I was like on the ball with that stuff. 
I would hope to get back to that again, but I don't want that. I want to figure out other stuff. I think inventions are more important. So again, just like that whole thing where I poke a hole here, there's no real stuff here like that. There should be like a clip system here where, I don't know, even where you imply the system of where you have the, uh, the zip ties where it, it's a part of the outfit because there's parents that are really going through this shit. But it's like literal physical ish because like you don't want to do that and you saw how many mental breakdowns i had with that poop situation in the past like christmas days in the past like brody getting out so i've been smearing all over the place now if you had that outfit was like dedicated to kids that are going through that or just because kids that are real young they go through it all the time but as they get older it's it's not as common but it should be a an outfit that's in place already target has those outfits like uh the other autistic gentleman here and a couple of y'all talked to me the mother too she went through this too it should be a thing they should be marketing for autistic kids so when i think about it it's like just make your own homemade outfit i wish i had more communication with my family and all that stuff uh, my grandmother is really good at sewing and creating outfits like you can make an outfit put it out there but She's got, she's got a lot going on just to, to keep going by. But anyway, I'm just saying, there's, like, there's a market for all this stuff. And there's, when you go online and you got to search and search and search for your kid's needs that takes his clothes off and sometimes digs into his, his a diaper, which most kids do at a young age, you should be able to pick out the specific size of it and all that. And it should be a thing. And he, like, again, even if it's like a handful in certain areas, like there's always a market for this stuff. As I see so much stuff, it's like a nonsense mark. I don't know how it even makes uh, somebody a millionaire <laughs> or just like get to get by. But just the placement of the holes in there and just lock it up. I don't know. There should be outfits like that. Because I had to, it, you see the, the newer ones now with the footsies, like, but they eventually fall apart as they are now. You see, I just put that one specific spot there. And so before I was learning, putting them in the back and doing this and too many holes. Like just one specific hole. There should be just like a looping system where it's outlined with like a plastic like pin type thing where you does it. I don't know. It would make a, it would have made many nights with my kids in the past where I didn't raise my voice and stress them out and overwhelm myself. And, uh, just saying like i said i was i always escalate the situation because i was just like what the hell the shit out there like i said the spot with the, the throwing the, the, the dirty diapers into the ceiling fan which was probably the king beckham <laughs> now if you if you go in there and you go oh you threw your poopy diapers in the ceiling fan that the shit has hit the fan oh wow that is nice Maybe if I put one of these lights in there where the, the moon was up there, yeah, the shit hit the fan, the shit hit the moon. Aim for the moon, sons. <laughs> I said you laugh about it, but at the time it's not funny. So again, just the just thought process. And I'm rambling on now. So I'm sipping and uh, smoking a stogie, but again, like some of my musician friends, and even my father when I was younger, he would, he, he would say his, some of the most times where he would get creative was, was when he would smoke. Uh, marijuana, which I I don't at all. I can't remember the last time I did. We even have a drink. Everybody has a different creative process where you're just like, stop and relax. But uh, it is what it is. It's, it's thought process to get out there. Get me to chop up. But if it's a bad idea. And sure, tell me it's a bad idea, but I don't think it is. There should be outfits out there where there's multiple areas on the neck. Because every kid's got a bigger head and neck. My kid's got big domes. I got a big dome. Big dome. Fed daddy. But again, even if, like, the little bit of money I was making for the monetization, like, 500, 700 hours a month, 200 hours, whatever, when it started there that's enough for others to, to to function so we put a team together put some of the stuff together i don't know man again I'm rambling on i don't have enough to if i could take a break from my kids for months at a time and just sit down and go back to like how i was when i was younger and i made films and some of y'all like you haven't even seen some of the videos i used to make i made a couple films when i was younger mostly just clips put together but that was before uh 
of the internet and stuff. I made a film, it still passed around to this day. I made like a good twenty, thirty thousand dollars with that video being passed around for DVDs for like ten or five dollars pops. I mean it was all donations actually. Donations of ten or five dollars a pop. <laughs> because uh still getting passed around today. People reach out to me like that was the most amazing film. Like it was like so different back then. I want to go back to that time. And I was like, eh, it was a different time. <laughs> uh, it was called Ignorant F Face, F-U-C-K Face. I have it privately on my channel. A lot of you asked for it today, but I'm not kidding, man. I used to pop off whenever I go to film uh, musicians like Saves the Day, and my cousin's band, and other stuff, a lot of older bands back in the day. And uh, even wrestling shows, ECW shows, and I would just say, hey, you want this demo? Next thing you know, that demo would have my phone number written on there, her email, before like I could have a website. I didn't even, never even had a website. And the people asked me, how do I get, uh, how do I get the story back? This is all a copy, it's because they were supportive. Brandon uh, DiCamilla from uh, Jackass CKY, like he would ask me for that. I ran into him at a CCW show when they were shooting, uh, what was the, rest, the wrestler, the wrestler film? Um, it was just an unbelievable experience. And like, he would run up to me at cons. He's like, yo, you're the dude. We were there watching it on their ride back. So the videos of your parents and all that stuff is just, it was so well done for an hour long video. But again, I don't know, ramble on here because I'm uh, having to sell us a lot, but now you like this again. But I think in the long run, I would love to make a product that would, it would help my son so much here. That, that just specifically on his needs and even if it's just like one child a state which more than likely there's way more and then you go to other countries like you sell a thousand units at this price and then you walk away with 30 40 grand i see it all the time online but it's mostly people just importing crap from uh other parts of the world and label them as their own like I said, with these lights, there's other parts of these lights are the same damn lights. People are selling for 60 freaking dollars a pop. And I got these for 15, 10 dollars. You're taking something else and repackaging it as your own. Like somebody suggested I did with the cat mask. I almost did, but I was like, you know what? Somebody else invented that somewhere else and did that on their own. And now I got passed all around. Somebody capitalized and sold like 10,000 of those cat masks. The, when I did the viral video, they capitalized on it through Amazon, eBay, all, and I saw it. I was like, man. And the following year, I tried to purchase a bunch, but it didn't work out. But then again, they did the same thing, like three or four thousand. So you imagine that twenty dollars a pop, and the cost was like as low as two dollars dollar pop. But again, you live and you learn. But I think that wasn't as important to, to see that I need to come up with something that's going to help my son indefinitely just in my situation with him his situation that'll help others and also profit from and again this is just a <laughs> drunk thoughts <laughs> i'm not drunk yet but i will be in a moment. and i know some of y'all don't like that but you know too bad you don't like it again it's just like i'm rambling on i'm here with my kids waiting, waiting to wake up again and do the whole thing all over again i'm sorry it's not the most exciting life I miss going out when people hit me up and I just, I completely have ignored everybody. Because I know a night of myself going out with them without a car. And if I did have a car, it's not a good idea to ever drive back drunk. I've learned from that. <laughs> you know. But anyway. I, I think we could come up with something here. But let me go back to uh, puffing the stogie later up and watch more of the news and just, I, I, I I think every idea is, is so crucial when you when you do it on your own, but when you put others together, it's just like a big boom. Like, I know some of y'all could come up with some of the most beautiful, creative shit, dude. Sorry to curse, but like, I mean it, man. Where you never have to work, you never have to uh, care for a parent of yours as you're older and all that. I'm not talking about video or pictures, I'm talking about an idea something that you, you write down you patent it and don't tell anybody submit it and do it like just the basics i said here as i did a quick search there's nothing available like that there is nothing snap snaps that word the child cannot get out of it if you add another tool with it i said the the zip ties but just make it like a thing where kids are comfortable with where it has like colorful things and design I, something there man
because Birdie was very uncomfortable when I first started doing it, and then he really understood. It took a good week, and I know I documented it somewhere. It's all it's all there. He did not like that, and I understand that. Nobody wants to be zip tied with that thing. Like, so anyway, all right, thoughts, just thoughts of mine. All right, kids, I can't watch this whole thing. But yeah, it's all there. Blah, 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 blah. Let's put the uh, flour of food in there. Mm -hmm. We can't even get a puff. Yeah, I'm gonna add that flower food to the, the pink roses here. So the ladies love the flowers. Uh, I honestly would like to see that the rose is connected to the ground still. <laughs> got a call them right here. Uh, it's a little after midnight. Good night. Kids don't ever smoke. Cigars are stupid. But uh, use your mind and come up with something creative that, that you could use in your life uh, that can not only help yourself and your parents around you and everybody else on that verge. But uh, yeah, we gotta go and go to bed. Good night. Take care. You're an ugly Ugly, ugly ass zebra. I deserve to wear these, man. You, you, you haven't done anything out here, man. You, you got me talking to you. You're pissing me off. Take care of all my lightweight here, homie. I'm going to wear these. And you do your thing. Super close to the face. Don't take life so seriously. all the pictures hanging up here back yeah yeah you did this beautiful but yeah don't take it too serious who cares yeah let's put you let's put you in the air fryer i'm kidding let me never do that to Such a jerk. Stop pooping all over the place. Normalize walking the kitties. What do you want? Yeah, how do you think I feel? Look at all these wrinkles. Look at these wrinkles. Look at these wrinkles. Look at these wrinkles. He's got a lot of wrinkles. What do you want me to say, boo boo? Yeah, balances this egg on your head. Balance this egg on your head. Look at the egg. 
Yay, happy Easter everybody. This is no. The honey and the chicken. Uh, I'm gonna watch Stargate and then fall asleep. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I just can't get over how beautiful this is. Beckham, this is like a work of art here, man. This right here. Ten days with these boys.